What's going on YouTube? Alright, so a little background to this video. I've been playing live shows with my Harley Benton 2x12 and my Seymour Duncan Power Stage 170 for a good while now, several months. And it just barely came to my attention like a couple of weeks ago that one of the speakers in my cabinet wasn't making any sound at all. So I checked all the wires and connections and checked the power for everything and it seems that I have a break in my coil of my speakers so it is dead and it makes no sound at all. I think it makes sense how this happened being that my amp was 170 watts and the cabinet was 120 watts so I figured I would have been safe had I just not cranked the amp up all the way yet here we are with a blown speaker so I want to make sure that this doesn't happen again so what I need to get myself is uh, higher wattage speakers so I went for some Eminence speakers ended up at the Eminence Swamp Thing and the Eminence Texas Heat I just kind of figured that I may as well try mixing these two because it keep my cabinet interesting then I could buy two different speakers and I could mic them up separately and like you know get different sounds out of which one I want so I thought that'd be interesting since uh, I have to basically give up the speakers that I already liked which were the Celestian Vintage 30s that's what came stock in the Harley Benton and I just can't have those with my setup because I'll risk blowing them up so uh, I might be sacrificing a little bit of my uh, sound for durability essentially. I really just did not want to change my live setup, my pedal board amp, my pedal board, everything. I liked it all how it was, so I didn't want to change anything in that regard. So what kept everything about the same, or closest to being the same, is just swapping the speakers out. All right guys, so we have the Eminence speakers here. They come with a little uh, nameplate and souvenir pick. And under the foam, we've got ourselves an Eminence Texas Heat. 16 ohm 150 watt speaker over here we've got ourselves an eminence swamp thing so we're going to be mixing these two in my harley benton cabinet and uh we'll see how it sounds but first thing we're going to have to do is just open this up and remove the original speakers Alright, so this is what it looks like on the inside with the default stuff. We just have uh, this little uh, connection piece right here going to the speakers. They have clips instead of soldering, so they should just pop off real easily. Just like that, and that, and that. And that. And we're good. Now we can remove this all the way. Set that aside. All right, so now we're just going to go ahead and unscrew these speakers. So now I'm going to get our swamp thing, put it here on the left. Just like that. And our Texas heat. Put this guy in right here on the right. them so red is our positive here so positive to positive clips right on negative to negative we're going to do over here this dark gray one is our negative which is on the top over here And then this white one is our positive. Put 
Just like that. Alrighty, so we're all wired up and closed up again. And now we've got the Bagheera tri rack on top of it. It's backwards just so my cables can reach. And I've got my Schecter plugged in. We're just gonna make sure it works. Wow, it does. So I'm gonna do another video where I give it a better test run. I'm gonna mic up each speaker and look at the different sounds of them. Maybe even try some different amps. But that'll be in a separate video. For now, I'm just gonna give you guys what I got. So we go with some distortion. <laughs> Last little final touch. Gotta put this bad boy on there. Just got a little adhesive on the back. Just gonna make sure it lines up somewhere. Eh. Yeah. I don't know, I'm just gonna kinda like. Well, there it is. Don't forget to like and subscribe, especially if you want to see the second video where I go more in depth into the sound of these two speakers, both together and separately, a couple different amps. We're going to really check out um, the different tonal characteristics of these speakers. And uh, as always, if you have any questions or comments, leave them in the section below, and I'll see you guys in the next video.